The world is full of beautiful beaches and shorelines where you can soak up the sun's rays and have a great time. The beaches in today's video are absolutely stunning. Join me as we look at the top 15 most beautiful beaches in the world. Number 15. Playa del Amor Going to the beach on a hot summer day is awesome, but having to share it with hundreds if not thousands of people who all have the same idea is not. Unless you're going in the dead of winter, the odds of ever being the only person are slim to none. And even then, you may have to compete for swim time with the Polar Bear Club. But there's one beach in Mexico, the Playa del Amor, that's become known simply as the Hidden Beach. The beach is made up of a small patch of sand that's surrounded by water and is completely encircled by a cliff. And while the rocks, sand, and water of Playa del Amor are all natural, nature had a little bit of help with this one. The site's just a few miles off Mexico's coast, where the Mexican government and military would let off a little bit of steam, using the area for target practice. But unbeknownst to them at the time, they ended up creating this awesome, tiny, off-the-beaten-path beach. And while everybody knows about the secluded Playa del Amor now, you really have to put in work to get there. An hour-long boat ride will get you to the island, but then it's up to you to either swim or paddle through the water to get to the actual beach. And even then, good luck, because it's still pretty hard to find because not everything that's beautiful needs to be on full display. Number 14. Teeth of the Dog Alright, let's face it, not everyone likes going to the beach, but just because we all can't be beach people doesn't mean we shouldn't have to miss out on the heavenly glory these coastal destinations offer. And this is the type of beach where you don't have to bring your bathing suit, but you'll definitely need to bring some iron. Formerly known as the top course in the Caribbean, the Teeth of the Dog at Casa del Campo Resort in the Dominican Republic doesn't just have one of the coolest names out there, but it's also one of the most beautiful and calming places to hit a few holes. And if there ever was a golf course to add to your bucket list, this has got to be it. It's designed by one of the best golf architects in the world, Pete Dye. The Teeth of the Dog offers seven holes sitting along the Caribbean Sea, with another four on the front and the final three in the rear. This golf course may have some similar vibes to Pebble Beach, with golfers playing along the ocean as waves crash beneath them. But this one offers a much warmer, tropical setting, with those sea breezes being all the more refreshing because of it. The only catch here is that you better be good, because some of those holes at the teeth of the dog may be a little closer to the sea than people would like. Number 13. Hanakapiai Beach When it comes to Mother Nature, beauty and danger tend to go hand in hand, and such is the case with the next gorgeous beach on our list. Hanakapiai Beach lies in Kauai County, Hawaii, and if you ever manage to get there, then give yourself a pat on the back, because the only way to get there is by going for a pretty intense hike. But is it worth it? Are all of the panoramic views really worth all the trouble? Well, that's up to you, because Hanakapiai Beach is known for having some pretty mean and pretty unforgiving rip currents that are notorious for drowning swimmers brave yet foolish enough to go for a dip. And while this is an incredibly unfortunate truth, it simply reaffirms the fact that Mother Nature can be pretty unforgiving. And you'll be well reminded of the previous swimmer's fates right when you get there, because there's a nice sign warning you of the rough water. And it even tells travelers just how many people have drowned there each year. But with all that said, there isn't actually a rule that says you can't swim there. You just gotta remember that there's no one there to save you. So far, almost 100 people have lost their lives to the strong currents. So you have to ask yourself if you really want to be another tally mark on the warning sign of Hanakapiai Beach. Number 12. Anawangin Cove this next little slice of heaven on our list is, without a doubt, one of the most gorgeous shorelines on planet Earth. There is no shortage of beaches in the Philippines, but very few of them could ever hold a candle to Anawangan Cove. Anawangan Cove is an incredibly popular destination for anyone looking to get away from the hustle and bustle of the fast-paced Manila. Both locals and tourists alike come to the cove to get off the grid and get back in touch with nature through pitched tents, only the bare necessities and zero cell signal. Needless to say, it's an amazing experience, but part of the allure is just how green the surrounding area is, offering the type of scenery that you won't find at most shorelines around the world. The cove's makeup is as interesting as it is beautiful, being a pleasant aftermath of an otherwise tragic moment in Filipino history. The Mount Pinatubo eruption of 1991 devastated a considerable amount of the country, so nobody expected that the resulting ashfall could turn what was then a rocky coast into the sandy beach Anawangan is today. And even more surprisingly, agoho trees flourished into a lush forest that now provides campers refuge from the beach's scorching heat. A hiking trail up a hill that overlooks the entire cove allows visitors to see Anawangan in all its raw, unrelenting beauty. Number 11. 
Henderson Beach State Park. If you ever find yourself driving around the United States, plug in the address 17,000 Emerald Coast Parkway into the GPS and let the navigator do the rest. Henderson Beach State Park is a Florida state park located near Destin in northwestern Florida. But this is a shoreline with a history just as rich as its views. Burnett Henderson was a business who acquired land holdings in the Destin area in the late 1930s. In 1935 and 1936, Frances Beeland Wilkinson and her husband Broughton Wilkinson of Greenville, Alabama, purchased over six miles of what is now Destin and Okaloosa Island. The Wilkinsons purchased over 980 acres of beachfront, which began at the East Pass Point and over six miles west to the Walton County line. In 1937, Francis Wilkinson and Broughton Wilkinson assigned an undivided interest subdivision 162 acres of their destined property. In the same transaction, Henderson was appointed as a trustee for the Wilkinsons, which still held a remaining half undivided interest. Many of these beachfront parcels have since been developed. One large tract remained in its natural state and became known as Henderson Beach. On February 2, 1982, Henderson signed over the 208 acres to the state of Florida for the incredible price of $13.1 million to be preserved as the Henderson Beach State Park. The beach is easy enough to appreciate on its own, but knowing the wild story behind it is the icing on the cake, I think. Number 10. Skeleton Coast even for beaches and shorelines, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and the next locale on our list may appeal more to those who find beauty in the morbid. Not many people realize this, but Namibia actually has some pretty beautiful beaches. And here's one in particular that's especially breathtaking. It's able to combine the feeling of the beach with the desert sands. But let the name also serve as a warning, the Skeleton Coast. This coastline sits along the country's northern Atlantic coast and is as beautiful as it is deadly. And while you can certainly visit the shores, you best stay clear of the water. The underwater currents here are notorious for dragging out not just swimmers, but boats to a watery grave. Even some local sea life has succumbed to the deadly currents. It really is that bad. And if you walk along the coast, you'll notice all of the shipwrecks that have succumbed to the elements and erosion over the years, all of which have been washed ashore by the insane currents and waves. You may even come across the skeleton of an unlucky whale whose bones have been picked and licked clean by the likes of hyenas and lions. So if the waves and the currents don't get you, the local coastal wildlife will. And speaking of wildlife, the waters of the skeleton coast are also home to 11 species of sharks that will gladly make a quick meal out of anyone who doesn't heed the local warning. Number 9. Cannon Beach when it comes to the beaches of the United States, the Pacific Northwest often goes overlooked, but those in the know can tell you about the state of Oregon. Cannon Beach is an ever-popular coastal tourist destination in Oregon, famous for Haystack Rock, the 235-foot-tall sea stack that juts out along the Pacific coast. In fact, in 2013, National Geographic listed Cannon Beach as one of the world's 100 most beautiful places. And while you may not find white sands or crystal clear water, what you will get is fairy tale like experiences. Sitting on clean, soft sand overlooking Haystack Rock, you really do feel as if you've been transported somewhere far more exotic. The 235 foot basalt sea stack was created by lava flows millions of years ago and will likely outlive us all. But it's during low tide when things get even more interesting because visitors can walk right up to the rock and experience the glory up close and personal. That's also the best time to look for intertidal sea creatures like crabs, limpets, sea slugs, and starfish in the surrounding tide pools. But the real stars here are the puffin penguins, which nest on the massive rock from April through July. Of course, the little village by the sea has some pretty hefty real estate and solid seafood with an Irish cultural twist. Number 8. Horseshoe Bay Beach if you ever find yourself in Horseshoe Bay Beach, then consider yourself lucky because you made it to one of the best beaches on the planet. Where to even begin with this one? This North Atlantic beach on the island of Bermuda has its roots back in the days of pirates who would come here in between looting and sailing the seven seas, but it's now visited by thousands of travelers a year. But aside from harboring some real-life Jack Sparrows, there's the one-of-a-kind sand. It's pink. The sands at Horseshoe Bay are full of millions of tiny red organisms that grow under the coral reef and are all washed ashore. These tiny bits of coral and shell mix in with the already gorgeous white sands and voila, you've got a beach with a pink hue, which looks especially amazing at sunset when the sky and the sand seem to meet at the right moment. The waters here tend to be pretty calm, so serious surfers need not apply, but if you're looking for a place to relax and cool down during those hot Bermuda months, then this is the place. 
but this type of beauty can often come with a price. The biggest threat to life and limb out here are the Portuguese man o wars, a jellyfish with tendrils that extend dozens of yards from their bodies, all of which can offer up a deadly sting even long after they're dead. So if you see a few of those bobbing out in the big bright blue, then it's best to stay dry. But don't let that deter you from coming here for the Beach Fest in July, where hundreds come from far and wide for a beachside bacchanal. Number 7. The Baths National Park Tucked nicely in the Lesser Antilles, the British Virgin Islands, is a picturesque destination made up of four main islands. Tortola, Enangada, Virgin Gorda, and Joss Van Dyke, and some 50 islands and keys. They are literally a million things to do here, but situated on the southern tip of Virgin Gorda are the dramatic views of giant boulders, serene natural pools, and enchanting caves of the Baths National Park. The towering granite boulders are the result of molten rock seeping into the existing volcanic rock layers, and forming a hard granite layer when the molten rock does not reach the island's surface. These boulders come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from the size of a full-grown human to as large as a three-story building. And as long as they're careful, visitors of the baths can scale and clamber to the top of these boulders through a trail on the southern side of the beach, or simply crawl between the stones and gaze upon the dazzling blue waters of the pool. After a good climb, why not move down to the beach and further explore the locale through snorkeling? There's a natural pool inside of a small cave called the Cathedral Room, where folks can stop for a true Kodak moment. These boulders surrounding the beach area make the waters and lagoons calm and safe for even the least experience of swimmers to wade in there. There are plenty of beaches nearby, like the Devil's Bay, but there's just something about the Baths National Park that immediately takes your breath away, and coming here to this beach gives a whole new meaning to bath time. Number 6. Navaggio Beach Nicknamed Shipwreck Beach because of the shipwreck vessel that washed up onto shore in the 1980s, Navaggio Beach boasts a breathtaking setting on the northwestern coast of the Greek island of Zakynthos or Zante. What's left of the boat, which sits in the middle of the pebbly beach, is surrounded by vertical cliffs overlooking the turquoise Ionian Sea. It's one of the more unique offerings for a place such as this and lets everyone feel like they're an explorer for a day, ready to plunder some newly sunken ship. But that's all about there is to it here. Your beach activities are limited to swimming and sunbathing, and there's no surfing or sailing to be had. But you may find the occasional snorkeler. And then again, sometimes we don't want to partake in extreme activities when we're at the beach. Sometimes all we want to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the ship. However, Navaggio Beach's isolated location, which is only accessible by boat from Porto Vrome, means you'll likely see other noteworthy sights along the way, like the stunning blue caves. But all that means getting here takes a little bit of planning, and there's no such thing as a casual visit to Navaggio Beach, but it's certainly worth it. Most Navaggio day trips include hotel transfers from tourist areas like Planos and Zante Town, meaning if you're coming here, the odds of rubbing shoulders with any locals are slim to none. A tourist trap, definitely. But one of the most beautiful beaches in the world? Absolutely. Number 5. Cable Beach Alright, for this beach, we're moving over to Australia, the gorgeous continent where it seems like everything's out to kill you. Snakes, spiders, and baby-eating dingoes are enough to turn your knuckles white. But what about their beaches? Well, Cable Beach in Australia is just under 14 miles long and has managed to become the most dangerous beach in the country. Yep, it's open to the public. Yes, it's beautiful, and the only thing warmer than the sand is the water. But you lounge around here at your own risk. There are even some stretches of the beach that you can't walk along unless you're accompanied by a guide. So what the hell could possibly be going on here? Well, Cable Beach is riddled with hungry, hungry crocodiles. It's gotten so bad that in recent years the corpses of people torn apart by these beasts were found in the sand. That's never a fun sight when you're hoping to catch some rays down under. There are, however, some parts that are a lot safer than others, and there are still some restaurants and hotels along the coast. Just as long as you stay in these massive crowds, you should be fine, seeing as how the crocs don't care for the masses. But it's when you venture off into the unknown that they have a better chance of ensnaring you in their jaws and treating themselves to a death roll. But it's hard not to want to pay Cable Beach a visit, because with that crystal clear water, warm white sands, and stellar sunsets, it's enough to melt even the coldest crocodilian hearts. Number 4. Rayleigh Beach Heading over to Thailand now, the next beach washing up here isn't so easy to get to. But then again, nothing worth doing is ever easy. Part of what makes Thailand's Rayleigh Beach so special is that it's only accessible by boat. And once you get here, boy oh boy are beachgoers in for a real treat. Rayleigh Beach is a great place to soak up the sun in a semi-secluded area, but the rock faces make it the perfect destination for more experienced extreme rock climbers. 
People come from far and wide to take part in sport climbing, with over a thousand routes bolted into the rock, and multi-pitch climbing for those looking to climb a little lighter. But for the real daredevils, Rayleigh is a hot spot for deep water soloing, meaning you're able to scale these high limestone cliffs with nothing but your bare hands. And while you may be climbing about the safety of a net, it's the water that's going to catch you when you fall. Just don't expect a soft landing, because the higher you climb, the longer the fall and the harder it's going to feel. Luckily for those folks not ready to say goodbye at the end of the day, Rayleigh offers plenty of bungalows, most of which are aimed at tourists and small selection of luxury resorts for the rest of us. Number 3. Modhu Island When you go down to the beach, you typically know what you're going to get, but there's one shoreline in particular that you just have to see to believe. And even then, you might have to pinch yourself to make sure you aren't dreaming. Modu Island, also known as Vadu Island in the Maldives, is amazing in its own right during the day. But it's at night when things really start to come alive. Literally. Because the waters of the island are home to millions of bioluminescent plankton, meaning they create their own natural light. So if you visit Modu's beaches at night, you'll be treated to a sea of vibrant blue unlike anything else in the world. It can look like an alien invasion or like you're on Pandora when this phenomenon occurs. And of course, as the tides ebb and flow onto the beach, plenty of these bright blue plankton are left behind in the sand. Beachgoers can turn around to see all of the blue footprints they've left behind. And perhaps the best part of it, it's 100% safe to go swimming amongst these bright aquatic lights. Modu Island is just 8 kilometers from the airport, and it's just a 15-minute boat ride away from the mainland, meaning anyone can experience this epic natural wonder. And if you're really feeling up to it, the waters here are safe to swim in, so long as you don't mind a little night swim and you can get really up close and personal with the blue plankton of Modu Island. Just make sure to swim with your mouth closed. Number 2. Mirror of the Sky How great would it be if you could look up into the sky without having to crane your neck? And don't forget about the sun hurting your eyes. Well, the sky mirror will solve all those problems for you. Instead of looking up to the heavens, all you gotta do is look down. This unique natural phenomenon happens on the waters of Sasaran Beach in Kuala Lumpur twice a month during the new moon and the full moon period. This is the two times a month when the tide is at its lowest for two days. The smooth sands of the Sasaran Beach are the minimal yet perfect amount of water to create what looks like a mirror on the ground as far as the eye can see, and it's absolutely stunning. Look to your left and it looks like someone's running on air. Look to your right and you'll see someone laying amongst the clouds. This phenomenon has earned the popular nickname Mirror of the Sky. Naturally, this is an incredibly popular tourist attraction and perhaps the perfect place for a well-timed photo op. And to add to the magic of it all, baby clams are scattered all over the beach. The island that Sasaran Beach sits on is located just off the mainland coast, and it's accessible by only a 30-minute boat ride. Number 1. Reynes Fjorda Iceland, home of steep, stunning fjords, hot springs, and fermented shark meat. Although one may not think of Iceland as a beach vacation destination, its abundance of volcanoes sets the stage for an otherworldly beach experience unlike any other. Forget about pink sands or scaling limestone rocks jutting out from the water, or secret beaches in Mexico. Iceland is home to several black sand beaches all made from volcanic ash, but the most striking one is Rinesfjara in southern Iceland. At this desolate beach, you'll find jet black sand, an enormous cave, giant offshore rock formations, and a series of stacked basalt columns that will take your breath away and leave you feeling like you're climbing the cliffs of Mount Doom. And while you may not want to go for a dip in the water here, there's truly nothing else in the world like it, which is why it's earned the top spot here today. Plus, the beach is relatively close to Vik, a seaside village known for its Icelandic lava show, which offers the world's only opportunity to safely observe molten lava, as well as outdoor adventures like glacier hikes and even ice cave treks. If you time your visit just right, Rinesfjara can make for the perfect locale to see the northern lights in Iceland. Add this one to your bucket list. We'll see you next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.